Hey Ron's Dev here and welcome to Thief Simulator Overview. So last week we had a game centered around gun control in America. Today we'll be learning how to effectively steal from your neighbor and the next week we'll probably poison their dog because they're annoying little shitheads. To be fair this project seems more innocent one though. We'll actually use some real gadgets that real thieves use. I mean I've never stole anything. Okay, once, but it was justified. <laughs> no, there won't be any story time. It was a long time ago and I'm now a better person. <laughs> so Thief Simulator is a stealing sandbox simulator game where we essentially just do that, not using any violence whatsoever. Very much chill vibes, very innocent and trying not to get caught by the cops because we are apparently not doing anything wrong. Straight off the bat, I don't like the graphics and the UI. Seems very amateurish and not up to the standards nowadays. Shockingly, it only comes to the quest too, so that level of things going on in the game like I'm not sure if that's embarrassing or really the limits of the system I don't even feel like there's a lot of physics going on so where did the processing power go <laughs> on a positive side this is something new on the store might be fun to do a 10 minute video but I'm not sure about its longevity since it's a gimmick of a gameplay I'm definitely gonna learn something new today though last time I broke to some apartment it was mine and I had to do it through the window because my doors are panzer and one step wrong on the rooftop and I'll be just a splash on the ground. It says it's free roam sandbox so maybe an open world scenario. I imagine like a thief shop and then a neighborhood with homes around you just asking to be burglarized. Is it something up my alley? No. Do I see a high concept on it? Also no. But who knows, it might be the best game of the year so let's go steal something. <laughs> oh, <laughs> we're just straight thrown into the gameplay. Wait, why there's only seated and room scale mode? I mean, I know room scale is standing, but still the wording. Tutorial, <laughs> press to run. Yeah, that will be handy. <laughs> Running from the cops. Go to the abandoned shack. Do I have like a flashlight? Um. So do I just climb through it? Not even that. Use the handle to unlock the door. Really? Like no movement, just pressing the buttons? What are we doing? Hitman? You can strap the flashlight to your head. <laughs> what? Oh my god. <laughs> On what side? On top. Sure, why not? Scan items while looking directly at them. Well... This is like so not intuitive. Mate, nothing's happening. Directly. Shoe in my head. Ugh. I'm pressing the button on the controller. I'm handling the shoe. Change. Still nothing. Something appeared, but it's triggered. Not this button. That's what I meant about like amateur stuff. Use health loot for a detailed scan. Yeah, but that's not detailed. And there's no other one. <laughs> Hold loot over your shoulder and release when the control vibrates. Well, at least now that works. Time to get out. Grab a backpack strap of your chest to view entire inventory. Okay, so we put it on our back, but... We can see it from the front. Why not at this point? <laughs> oh my lord. <laughs> no comment. So, <laughs> that was the tutorial. <laughs> hey, it's me, Vinny. Pick up that crowbar and listen up. We got a lot of ground to cover. 
Well, at least we have some kind of physics going on. The suns are different, like... Maybe that's why everything is so shit. <laughs> Yeah, sure. The Lombardis paid you bail. They're generous men, but they're all about reciprocity, if you get what I mean. Let's see if you're up to the job. Knock over that house for me. The last one. <laughs> okay. Hello, lady. I'm coming. <laughs> you don't see me. <laughs> hey, some dope left a flashlight on the ground. Take it, but don't let nobody see the light and call the cops. Hmm. Actually, first game where it matters. The direction of the light or just usage of it altogether. Could you? Oh, not the dogs. Can I like activate the flashlight when I have on my head? Yes, okay, that's fun. <laughs> Are you kidding me? Good job. Time to redistribute a little wealth. <sighs> you know what happened. <laughs> Blackout. So the scanning does not work. I don't understand why you can't even introduce like basic just <laughs> dorm controls. <laughs> Pets, warbirds and trash containers allow you to hide. We reach towards that until you see fifth mask icon. Oh wow, I'm like a cockroach. <laughs> Do we have Nikes here? Why only left controller works? <laughs> Cheap assholes. <laughs> Put three objects in your backpack. Okay, it doesn't really matter then what. Um. Well, apparently it's not going, but can we just kind of put it directly? <sighs> not even. Or maybe we can like just put things that are actually worth something. Okay. Time to bail, man. Get in the car. Don't let nobody see you with that crowbar. I'm not sure why it works like that. I guess to not fill up the inventory, but still. Hello? Where is my car? <laughs> huh. So this is kinda an open world, okay. Everything with a button. Like, how do I get in? <laughs> Why am I even so far into the seat? Press menu, okay. Um. Okay, fair enough. Oh. Haha. 
I don't know how to steer a car. <laughs> oh, it's automatic, okay. At least I know that. Um... Oh my god. Whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> Wait, is this actually the first game I drive a car in VR on Quest? Might be. Wait, this should be just driving simulator, not fifth simulator. Uh, okay. What the hell is happening? <laughs> Good job, man. This just might work. Go get some sleep and we'll pick this up in the morning. Amazing. I mean, sleep until morning. Check the computer. There's a few things I need to tell you. Tools for Thieves let you buy new kit online. But you might not have what it takes to use them all. Click on Steal Your Forum. Oh, okay. Here you can buy secrets. Hot tips on what's where, who's guarding it, who leaves the door unlocked, whatever. Check out what I wrote on Greenview 109. Mm-hmm. Great. Now, go to your car. Easy to break the damaged wooden fence in the back, old TV worth a back, door key in the drawer, there's no one home at all the time. Oh, <laughs> let's go. <laughs> Go hawk your loot at the pawn shop first. You'll need empty pockets at Greenview 109. God damn it. <laughs> Do I have every time to fix this? Welcome to my lair. Okay. Oh, a toaster was that expensive? It's time for Greenview 109. Get me that TV and don't pawn it off. Why? We're for the money here now. <laughs> Come on, dude. <laughs> oh, now you don't want to start? This is like unhinged gameplay. Also, because the world limits are so small, I'm like literally driving just <laughs> chaotically. Stop it. I want to go. <laughs> Please let me go. Oof, back on foot. Okay, wooden fence. How? Oh, the fridge is so trash that it works that loud. No one's at home, so. Okay, old TV. Oh. Item too big for a backpack? <laughs> okay. Oh, money, 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 money. Let's go. Hey. <laughs> oh, wait. We need to get out somehow. <laughs> Don't mind me, y'all. I'm just borrowing stuff. And there's literally no one there, though. Aha!
Get in the car, mate. <laughs> I'll say a few stuff, but there's just so much going on. <laughs> Wait, was there a cup or something? I have them on my GPS. I'm not driving there. Someone's there. Oh, <laughs> there's just someone living there. Uh, sorry. <laughs> First time driver here. Jesus, the unresponsiveness of it all. Ooh. The struggle bus. I see you got my screen. Go to Black Bay. I set up a page on there for the TV. Go there and sell it. The toaster was more expensive. Eh, good work. Now. Click on the Rent a Thug tab. Now here you can find a little extra work. I put one on there just for you. The one with the dishes. <laughs> okay. Now drive back to 110 and break some dishes with the crowbar. I'll pass. <laughs> Here's the thing. There's like a lot of things going on, a lot of unpolished ones, but there's also a lot of mechanics here that I've never experienced in VR. Like I did not expect to just freely drive a car. This whole thief shop website and stuff like that. Physics somewhat working with the environment. It has like a potential if the developers actually put work and smooth things out. For example, the doors, the handling. Most things are on the base level of VR experience, topped with some pretty neat features. It's a bit all over the place for me. I'm not very interested in checking it out further. It might be like a fun game, but it's not very successful part of it. 